Hey guys, how's it going? Ben here from uh, Honeydew Homestead. As always, if I'm doing something outside, I'm bringing you with me. It's a little late for this, but we're gonna do it anyways. We gotta move some plants around. All right, let's get to it. If you're not familiar with this part of the yard, this is a little piece of the front. Originally, I had planted, you might have remembered this from my forsythia video, but I had planted some forsythias here. Unfortunately, oh, hold on guys, I gotta show you this. Woo! She's pretty. All right, where was I? <laughs> if you remember, these are the three Persithias. This is the guy that's like as tall as I am. I just took one out here, threw it into this bucket. I'm gonna transplant this. If you remember from the, my uh, Persithia video, the whole plan is to try to get just a wall of Persithias along the street side. And I'm gonna transplant that one but before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this garden up area as well. Garden up area. Clean up this garden area as well. And the first thing we're doing was I pulled out some grass that was growing over. Also in this area, I need to kind of redesign some of my landscape to fit my lawnmower because now I'm dealing with that 48 inch deck plus a couple of feet for um, the chute. So really I need about six feet of clearance anywhere I drive with the lawnmower and this is one of those tight little areas uh, that I was having some trouble with. So this is kind of solving two problems at once. What I did end up going with here is the, uh, let me see if I can pronounce this, this is the Euphorbia. This particular one, this is the Ascot Rainbow and then I have a Merlot, something Merlot, I'll check it out. Miner's Merlot. I've got the Miner's Merlot here and I got that Ascot Rainbow. I also have this one right here. This is a Silver King. Silver King, uh, oh boy, you don't want me to pronounce that. I would butcher it. But we're also going to plant this as a corner piece because this particular one can grow to roughly about six feet tall. So it'll probably grow about as tall as that one. I'm going to put it here as a corner piece so that it has a little bit of room to grow. So here's my plan right now. Originally I had three forsythias kind of splitting this space up. But if I had left this guy right here, it would have grown right up in front of that window. Luckily with these, they should only grow to about three feet. And so I should be able to get a nice, nice little cropping here um, of those without it covering the window. I'm going to keep this one here because it's not covering the window and it'll make a nice little corner shrub there. This particular one, I'm on the fence. I'm gonna leave it for now, but you'll notice I'm cutting in the edging a little a little sharper here so that I have more room. I'm going to go ahead and finish those out and then of course I have that silver king that's going to sit in that corner. All right, let's get to digging.
I might be getting a little too brave here, but I think there might have been two plants in there. So I'm gonna try to split it and see if it lives. Okay, so <laughs> it kind of feels like I solved one problem and then I created more problems for myself. So all of this is looking really good. We're planted along here, nice and even, all the way across right to the corner. I think as long as each, each of these plants lives and this fills in, I think it's gonna look really good. I might even do a little more interplanting as after these mature that does sort of open another issue where now i need to figure out what to do with this because i used to just coil it up right here in the corner but obviously sounds like i got a build project coming <laughs> i don't know when i'm gonna get to it but uh yeah i gotta figure something out with that hose you might wonder why i kind of dug this channel right here it's hard to really tell but all of this, this whole garden area, is very, very flat through here. And then it slowly slopes, very slowly slopes in this direction. So typically the water sits here just a little too long, especially when we get really heavy downpours. So I'm really hoping that that small channel is going to make a difference just enough to give me, even if it's a, a, a one degree slope it'll give me something instead of just perfectly level i mean level i literally put a framing level on top of the ground and it was a nice even bubble so i got to get something on there and i'm hoping that that little channel is going to give me just enough to push that water around the front of the house we'll see how that goes the next time it rains but in the meantime I think that's it for today. I still got some cleanup to do and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna bring you guys along for that one. I do appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. If you're still here, definitely drop me a subscribe, hit the like button, maybe drop me a comment. Let me know if you've ever had to rethink some of your landscaping and what you did to kind of fix your problems. I do hope that this resolves it. And like I said, once these sort of mature and they're established, maybe next, um, next late summer in the fall I might try to enter crop <laughs> some some other plantings uh, but for now I think it's good I don't want to overplant it for now um, and I think that's it as always you guys be good be a little quieter than that truck and I'll see you on the next one <laughs>
Mulch makes everything better. Also in a previous video, I mentioned how I need to kind of Excuse me. I'm gonna rename my YouTube channel to Ben lives in a van down by the river. Somebody's got more pots. 